Hi everybody, Corey at Gemini Guitar. Today we're going to be looking at my first acoustic lesson. In this I thought I would discuss just a few open drone voicings that we can do in the key of C major. These will be based on the chords A minor, G and F major. The principle behind these is to utilize fretted notes with a constant set of open strings. Now I've discussed this before in Gothic drone voicings, but since we're on acoustic today, it's going to give it a whole other flavor and atmosphere. So we'll be looking at the three shapes and I'm going to provide a chord chart for free download available from the website, geminiguitar.com.au. Anyways, let's see how we go. Okay, so the first shape we'll be looking at is based on an A minor chord. So we have the notes C on the G string at the fifth fret. And we also have the root note A at the seventh fret on the D string. What we're going to do with this is use the open fifth, the open second, and the open first string. So the A, the B, and the E strings. When we play from the fifth string, it sounds like this. Last time I heard this was referred to as an A minor add nine. So I hope I'm right in saying that. In any case, it does sound very nice. It's a little mysterious sounding, so there's a darkness about it. I like that. So the second chord we're looking at utilizes the same three open strings, A, B, and E. So along with that, we're going to be employing the G note at the fifth fret on the D string, and the B note at the fourth fret on the G string. So that sounds like this. Note here that the G and the B are involved in the chord G major, since G is the root, B is the third. But with those open strings, we get a whole other type of sound. Last but not least, we're going to move that shape down two frets into the first position. So we have the notes A at the second fret on the G string. And we have the F at the third fret on the D string, along with our open strings. This is a very nice and mysterious chord. Now to get some use out of these three chords, what we're going to focus on is a fairly generic chord progression which works like this. So we'll go from the A minor type chord down into the G type, down into the F type. If we were to do just a basic strumming pattern, it might sound like this. Note also there that I went back into the G type before repeating the idea. Now really the point of this lesson was to look at some picking patterns and uh, we might just do one or two. So I'm going to show you what I'll do in an improvisational context with this first and then we'll just slow that down. So if we look at that a bit slower, we're starting on the fifth string and going up from the A to the B string, back to the G string, then into the E string, 
And I think what I was doing was just alternating back and forth then between the G and the B and the G and the E string. Pay careful attention to the accents and some of these strings tend to be naturally accented because of the upstroke. But you'll notice that I'm definitely accenting the B and the E string. And at this point then we simply move the idea down. So change the chord into the G type. F type. Another really cool thing we can do with this is a, I guess a more simplistic pattern in some ways and yet in others a bit more technically demanding. Um, so what you could do is just pick all the way up from the A to the E string and then come back. So it's simple in that we can remember quite easily where to go as opposed to the previous pattern but it's a little bit harder because it's going to work that right hand a bit more over a larger area of the strings. Of course it's strict alternate picking here, you wouldn't really be able to do it with down picking at any reasonable speed I wouldn't imagine, so alternate is good, either starting on a down or an up, whichever is your personal preference. Uh, that idea I was just using there was back to the E string at the end just to sort of give a bit of a bass note sort of thing. And just like before then we just use this with the, uh, the other chords in there so we could do this with the progression. Look at that bit slower. Okay, so I hope you had fun with that. Uh, I'm really enjoying this new acoustic guitar, which is cool. It's an Eastman AC508 with the mahogany top, and uh, it sounds really cool. So uh, expect more acoustic lessons in the near future. So don't forget to check out the website, geminiguitar.com.au. Remember that uh, there will be a free download, the PDF with the chord diagram, so you can keep that handy whilst utilizing the video. So anyways, have a good one, and until the next lesson, bye for now.